The Madison Symphony Orchestra welcomes pianist Christopher Taylor in their upcoming concert series. Here to tell us a little bit more about the program, Maestro John Demain. Good morning. Good morning, Amy. How are you? Well, it's my pleasure to have you here. Now, tell us a little bit about Christopher Taylor. This is unique because he lives right here. Right. Uh, he became the head of the uh, piano department at the University of Wisconsin. I, I think he's a genius. I mean, he has interest in research R&D. You know, he's building mm -hmm. a special uh, harpsichord to play the Goldberg variations on and uh, at the university. He also has one of the giant techniques as a pianist. I mean, the New York Times, oh, when he first got here, heralded him as, uh, they had done a piece on who the great pianists were for mm -hmm. the 21st century, are, and uh, Christopher was uh, on the list. And, and so he- What does it mean, giant technique? Well, it just means that he can play anything okay. ever written for the piano. And I mean, Liszt, for example, the one of the concertos he's playing this weekend, Liszt, was, a, 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 was in the era when performers were becoming stars, you know, like mm -hmm. virtuoso pianists and virtuoso violinists. They were the rock stars of the day, and they were writing these pieces to show off their dexterity. And so um, I asked Christopher if he would play the list. And also, I asked him to play Bach because that's a specialty of his. Mm -hmm. And since both concertos are not terribly long, I could do them both back to back, and the audience will get a wonderful uh, perspective of, of, of uh, Kip's talent. Wonderful. And tell us about the other uh, piece that you'll be performing. Bruckner's Seventh Symphony. Uh, well, the Bruckner Fourth and Bruckner Seventh are the two of the most popular in favor of the Bruckner symphonies. I think in 1985, the uh, Madison Symphony played the fourth, and here we are in 2050, <laughs> getting, getting around, around to the, to the seventh. <laughs> but it's it's a glorious uh, pinnacle. You know, he's a pinnacle composer in the Romantic period, mm -hmm. the German German Romanticist. And uh, you you hear Wagner and you hear Mahler in the music, and uh, at the Scherzo. As I was studying it, I thought, boy, this could be right out of a Mahler symphony. But people got into camps. People got you know there was you know there was Brahms, Wagner, Mahler, Bruckner. You know, and uh, but as a but the orchestras are, you know, our, our responsibility is to play it all mm -hmm. so that you can have the fullest possible perspective as a listener. Music is very beautiful. It's a very substantial work with an absolutely to die for slow movement. Just gorgeous. So, uh, but uh, I, I think I was so focused on doing all the Mahler symphonies when I first got here. And mm -hmm. I didn't, with only, you know, if you take away Christmas and the choral concert, it gives you seven concerts. And so I didn't want to, if I was doing Mahler, I wasn't going to do Bruckner. So now that I've done all the Mahler, I'm we getting in some back. of those other romanticists <laughs> in there as well. Wonderful. Well, some things to look forward to for the concert. And so Christopher Taylor will be performing in the first half. Right. Wonderful. The yeah. two um, different pieces. The two pieces. We Bach, will look Bach, and then Liszt. And then Bruckner. Bruckner. We'll look forward to it. It's all coming up next weekend at the Overture Center performances on Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday afternoon. Thanks so much. Thank you.